Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't had an opportunity to watch Game of Thrones, The Watchers on the Wall, stop listening now. Major spoilers, here we go. Here's a little bit about tonight's episode. Jon Snow and the Night's Watch face a big challenge, and that's exactly what happened, man. Once again, stop listening now, man. There's so many spoilers, man. Here we go. I'm going to do this a little bit differently tonight, this podcast, and I'm just going to talk about some of the things that we saw as far as character-wise, and... um. I'm gonna, I might have to stop here and there because um, the Miami Heat are playing the San Antonio Spurs, and I, I, I got to support Miami Heat just in case they do win. Hopefully they will. Okay, moving on, moving on. Uh, we saw Jon Snow tonight, Samuel Tarley, uh, the maester, you know, the blind maester. We found out his name, which is Eamon Targaryen. Okay, just take that in for a second because I'm still processing it too. Uh, Gilly was there tonight. Uh, we found a new little character called Ollie, which is a young kid inside the Night's Watch. Egret was there. Um, the, the 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 Mace Riders they were there. Um, let me see who else, man. Oh my gosh, I, this is the biggest one. Giants were there. Mammoths were there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It was a war. It was the battle for the wall. Okay, and the Night's Watch had to had to stand and fight, man. They had to defend the wall at all costs, man. And it costs several hundred lives of, of some of the men of the Night Watch, man. And I, I can't, first off, I can't even believe what was actually shown tonight because there was so much. It was like the biggest Hollywood blockbuster. Let me just put it like this. Combine the Avengers, Man of Steel, Thor the Dark World, uh, Captain America the Winter Soldier, um, 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 Edge of Tomorrow, uh, Maleficent, and Terminator, uh, Tarzan, uh, <laughs> pretty much, think of all of your blockbuster hits, that's what was given us tonight, and we, and it was only like a 40 minute episode, to be honest, probably, let's be honest, it was probably a little bit less than that, I think it was maybe like 38 minutes, 37 minutes, because they kind of cut into the time with, uh, talking about True Blood, and, uh, The Leftovers, and a couple other new shows that are coming, little documentaries, and then after that, they cut it kind of short, because, if they didn't, if they would have given us 50 minutes or 47 minutes or 45 minutes, I, I'll be honest with you, my head would have exploded. It was just too much to process. It was absolutely brilliant um, from the directing, the editing, the acting. I, I couldn't catch any mistakes. Um, and, and check this out. Um, my, my Khaleesi wasn't in the episode tonight. She wasn't in the episode, but guess what? I, I didn't even notice it. I didn't even notice it. <laughs> yeah, it was that. It was that crazy, man. Um, I'm just gonna name off a couple of things that happened. Okay, here we go. Giants riding mammoths. Giants with arrows. Okay, giants shooting arrows. Giants towing. Giants lifting gates. Okay, um, arrows to the neck, beheading, um, protecting the gate. Oil being being thrown down and, and oil burning people alive. Uh, what else? Um, um, people being chopped in the in the chest with axe and uh, people being chopped in the chest with swords. Um, I, I won't say that one because that's a, that's a major spoiler. We'll talk about that when we get in there. Um, the army holding off another army, um, charging the gate, screaming at the top of your lungs. Uh, let me just see what else. What else? <laughs> a love story. Um, uh, uh, Sam, Sam becoming like the real hero of the story, man, which I just absolutely, I was like, yes, I was like, bravo, 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 standing ovation for me because it was just, you know, I've been waiting for that moment, man. We had one more episode. I think it was like a couple of episodes going to be like at the beginning of this season where Sam was like the hero. He was actually standing up. And then the last season we got to see that also, but tonight was one of those seasons where Stan, where Sam, he stood strong, man. And instead of running, he actually stood there. He, uh, he gave words of motivation. He, um, he, he gave direction, purpose, motivation. He was able to inspire people, man. And I was just like, yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because the whole entire time, man, I was thinking like, okay, this has to be the end, man. This is the last episode that we're going to see Jon Snow in. This is the last episode that we're going to see Sam in. This is probably the last episode that we're going to see, you know, Sam and Jon together. And all of a sudden, something else happened. And I was just like, wow, thank you so much, man, um, for just... <laughs> For not doing what I thought you would do, okay? Because, I mean, honestly, when I'm watching Game of Thrones, I get too anxious, I get too excited, I get too nervous, and, it, you know, I always guess, I say, okay, this person's gonna die, they're gonna kill off half the cast, and it didn't happen, man. Um, I will say this before I, uh, before I cut this episode off, or, or, you know, for this podcast, we lost someone tonight that 
I, I, I can't wrap my heart around. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I, I cared so much about this character, and he or she, I'm not going to spoil that yet, he or she is gone. And it just it just sucks. I'll, I'll be honest with you. It's, it's, it's horrible to just think that from now on, we're not going to see them on the show anymore. It's, it's very, very tough, man. And I will say this, that the, the way that it ended, the way that their chapter closed on Game of Thrones was perfect because you always wondered if that connection was still there. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Guys, um, yeah, I just, I got too excited. I had to kind of calm down a little bit before I actually started another podcast. So uh, this is the end. Uh, put your comments below. Let me know what you thought about the episode. Uh, yeah, just everything, man. Can you believe Giants? I had no clue. I thought Giants were a myth, okay? That's why I guess I'm so excited. I thought the Giants were a myth. They're not a myth. They are actually legends, and they're actually living and breathing and, and running. <laughs> and screaming it's it's crazy man um yeah so we're out of here guys thanks again for listening